Um... What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel, I'm Evil Rabbit. we're here in Forza Horizon 4 in a very wet Z4 because it's raining and well my top's not up so unfortunately it's, uh, it's a little wet inside here. So we are just going to be cruising around the Z4 today and doing uh, some tuning and stuff like that, getting sideways. So I've been definitely enjoying a set of Corsa but I thought I'd bring it back here to Horizon 4 and uh, just do a little cruise in the Z4 as well as tune it up and you know have some fun with it so let's just enjoy the sounds of the z4 it sounds amazing with the pops and uh well yeah let's just cruise it for a few So the Z4 definitely has a very awesome exhaust sound and the pops are amazing. So we're gonna get turn, make a right here and go and see what kind of speed we can get out of the Z4 stock before we add some stuff to it. Oh God, as we take out stuff. So surprisingly, it's pretty slow. <laughs> pretty slow. The M40i Z4 is actually a fun car. I've been able to drive a few of these where I work. And they are just as loud. Get a little speed now. Okay, so it's not as slow as I thought. We should not be ripping at 138 miles an hour to the city. Are we good? Okay. Well, you knew that was going to happen. You knew we were going to get sideways in this thing. Oh, jeez. If you want to keep seeing Horizon 4 on the channel, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. As always, make sure you tap and like this video. I do appreciate all the support. If you guys are not a subscriber, please do me a favor. Tap that subscribe button and hit that bell notifications so you guys can be part of the notification gang. So let's go and mod this car up and uh, see what we can do power-wise and driftability-wise. And then uh, give it a real good shakedown. So let's see what we can actually do. I think we're going to keep stock power. I don't think we can really do much but Forza Arrow. So we're not going to do Forza Arrow. We don't want Forza Arrow. We're going to leave the stock motor in there. But of course, you know, we got to throw some... Uh, I guess we're going to leave stock tires. What are we at? 255s in the front. Probably two... Yep, 275s in the rear. I think we're going to leave it on stock Z4 wheels for right now. But we're going to widen that stance. Widen the stance in the rear. And then, of course, we got to add a clutch. I think we're going to keep a stock trans. We're just going to add a clutch. Carbon drive shaft. Nope. I wanted the actual diff. We'll leave the factory M brakes on there. We are going to throw on drift suspension. Keep sway bars. What does the roll cage do? Just gives us a roll bar. Well, we don't need a roll bar. We're going to keep no roll bar. We're going to leave the factory weight. And we're just going to basically do a mild tune on this car and see what we can get out of it. 382, 390 intake, exhaust, probably what people would do, front mount, graded clutch. And we'll adjust our ignition. And that's 485. So 485 is exactly what we're going to do with right now. Install the setup. Buy that. 
and then we are going to change up the tuning on the suspension and tire pressures we're gonna drop down 28 25 oh, yep yeah, okay I need to I forgot I need to use the paddle gearing we're gonna leave because we're gonna drop that from five we're gonna go 3.5 and drop this down to one probably do five and two any roll bars are normal car is slammed we're gonna leave the suspension how it is stock to see how it handles and we're gonna lock the diff and leave that at 75 so we can see how this handles and okay you can see how this handles so let's head back onto the street with it and see where we're at with the Z4 <laughs> a little bit quicker to say the least still backfires like a lot <laughs> so let's give it a quick shake down in this section a little handbrake I think the power is all the way there for the gearing. Oh, there we go. Well, we're gonna make it work. Oh, try not there. There we go. Try not to wreck it already. Here is not where I need it to be. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, um, we done did wreck the C4. Ah, uh, that would be bad. You have arrived at your destination. So. We kind of wrecked it a little bit, but we're gonna keep keep it going. We may throw some more power into this car and see how it works with even more power. Maybe throw in a bigger turbo. Ah, understeer. Jeez, it definitely understeered. So it's not a very grippy car in the front. That is at very high speed. So that is something we need to keep in mind. She slides. She definitely slides for having just under 500 horsepower. Fun little car, actually. try and shoot up that way but we're gonna go this way go through this drift zone force feedback is definitely a little bit different than what I'm used to on a Seto being back here on Horizon 4 but I feel like I should be coming back to Horizon 4 more and more here in the new year so if you guys want to keep seeing Horizon 4 let me know also down in the comments here we go love grass line taking out one of those clips not that close. This thing actually handles quite well. You have arrived at your destination. I'm uh, slightly impressed with uh, this little 500 horsepower Z4. I don't really want to put more power into it because I feel like if we put more power into it, it's going to destroy how the car really feels. But you know we have to. So we can send this back up the hill. I feel like gearing would, oh, that dude just died. I feel like gearing would probably help, but we're trying to keep some factory trans. She slides. She's a, she's definitely a slider. You have arrived 
toward your destination. Got my phone going off here. No texting and driving. Oh boy. Oh no, I don't want to take a picture. What am I doing? Okay, we're gonna minimize that. There we go. So, I've been definitely missing Horizon 4 here on the channel. So, we are going to be doing a lot more here. More tunes, more drift builds, more cruising, and just having a good time in cars, that grass life, or dirt life. Because I feel like cruising and just enjoying the sounds of the cars is something that I don't do that often. And I feel like I should start oh, enjoying the sounds of the cars and just cruising them out and having a good time with all the cars here in Horizon. Oh, my new Z4 is getting all dirty. So we're gonna go throw some more power into this thing. Even though it's quite comfy at this setup right now. The suspension feels pretty good with just a few tweaks. We're gonna throw more power into it and then get back out here and try that again. Oh boy. So let's head over to the car auto show. Get some more power added to this. Oh, has me. Uh, let's see, custom upgrades. Let's just throw big turbo on this car. Jump to 460 or 446, I think. And we'll throw some cams in there. 732. I think that's all we're going to do onto this right now. And we're going to go rip this thing like this way and see how it handles with just over 700 horsepower because I liked it at 5. Am I going to like it at 7? I don't know. We're about to find out. Definitely a lot more wheel spin. Here we go. All right. Okay. All right. So Z4 with a little over 700 horsepower. Just the wall craze. Same suspension settings and everything. Not gonna lie, it feels uh pretty good. And we just rip it into the wall. So if you guys want to give this car a chance for yourself, make sure you do try the suspension. Let me know if you did try it and what you guys think of it. Does it work for you? And a lot of people have been asking about some G920 stuff, and I believe I'm going to bring the G920 back here to the channel to do some comparisons from the Fanatec to the G920 on a set of Corsa and stuff like that. I still will be using my Fanatec pedals, shifter, and handbrake, but the wheelbase will be that of my G920. So I hopefully will be doing that very soon, bringing back the nostalgic G920 to the channel and do a comparison for you guys. Fanatec versus G920 and a set of Corsa as well. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. And as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.